So he clicked on this video because straight up, your drum speed absolutely sucks. And trust me, I've been there at a point of time as well. And it's okay because I'm gonna give you three reasons why your drum speed sucks. Reason number one, you probably ain't warmed up enough. Reason number two, you're using the wrong techniques. And number three, you're just weak. All right, that's the end of this video. If that's all you came for, hope you have a nice day. Oh, you're still here, huh? So you wanna know the details of why your drum speed absolutely sucks. The first one, you're not warmed up enough because you gotta get the blood flowing through your fingers, your uh, arms and your forearms and all that good stuff. How can you tell that you're not warmed up? Well, pretty much if you're not able to play what you're normally able to play on a normal day, like for example, if you're able to play eight on a hand and for whatever reason you can't play eight on a hand, because you just picked up your sticks or you're really struggling with it well it means you're not warmed up enough you got to warm up and exactly what should you do when you're warmed up well you can do a whole host of things you can uh play the material that you know uh i recommend that you don't do it at 100 percent. do it at maybe 70 percent and work your way up if you notice that you're able to play some of the parts or some of your material at a faster pace uh the longer you're playing that means you're warming up and uh you're almost at 100 percent but a lot of times that's where you can run into injuries and issues and all of that stuff if you're not warming up or if you're feeling like you're hitting a plateau you gotta warm up before you know that you're hitting any type of plateau you don't know what your speed is because you ain't warmed up because you're too lazy to warm up or the next thing is your techniques there's a whole host of different drum techniques out there that people like to use I lost track of how many I've seen out there, but here's the thing. There's no one technique that is uh, that fits all. If anybody out there is telling you that if you use this technique, you'll be able to play any type of rudiment out there or at any tempo, whatever the case is, I just hope you're not hiring them as your drum instructor because that's a fast track way of running into all kinds of different hand and wrist injuries, which are very, very common thing in the drum world which is another thing i don't know why drummers argue that rebound is cheating or whatever the case is that is the most dumb fuck shit i've ever heard in my entire life don't listen to drummers that tell you that you shouldn't be using rebound or it's cheating it's stupid as fuck. but yeah going back to the injuries a little bit that's how people injure themselves if they try to use the finger control technique doing a double stroke roll at 250 beats per minute sure you might be able to do it you might be able to play with your stick inside of your elbow. I've seen it before on a DCI INE. It was pretty raw. One of my favorite solos, by the way. But yeah, you can play with your elbows. You can play with your toes. It really doesn't matter if you can get it done. Here's the thing, though. You're probably going to hurt yourself if you overstrain your tendons, which is pretty much what happens uh, when somebody tries to use more wrist. Don't use your arms or your forearms. You need to use more wrist because you're using too much forearm don't don't do it don't do it i'm telling you you're gonna blow your fuck i'm sorry i have to be aggressive but that's just the way it is i'm tired of being like all humble and stuff trying to tell people preaching to people for so many years now that your drum speed depends on the technique you're using and then it goes into part three part three which is you're just probably weak you're going back to the forearms burning if your forearms are burning it means you gotta train yourself so that your forearms are not burning your forearms are burning because you got muscles in them a lot of muscles in your uh in your forearms i don't know the name of them but there's a whole bunch of them you can google search each of your fingers are controlled by the muscles in your forearms that's why you're gonna feel a burn in them you shouldn't feel any burn in your wrist if your wrist is burning that means you're burning your tendons which is gonna cause you to have tendonitis or even carpal tunnel um, which are two injuries you absolutely don't want um, one requires surgery I think uh, carpal tunnel requires surgery something you don't want but yeah man stop listening to these people out here that tell you that you need to use more wrists to uh to to push your speed because nine times out of ten ten times out of ten fifteen times out of ten you're gonna blow those motherfuckers so make sure you watch out for any wrist-based techniques out there. Try not to do them at a high rate of speed, at a high tempo. All right, I'm not saying you're not using wrists or you're not supposed to use your wrists when you're playing. I'm saying when you're playing at a certain tempo, um, you don't want to use like the molar technique. That's a whip base. It does have a lot of wrist movement in it. 
all right you don't want to use those to play at 500 beats per minute triple stroke rolls or 450 beats per minute double stroke rolls whatever these people tell you out here in the comment section whatever the case is just just oh ooh. plug your ears if you hear that stuff man i don't make these videos to say that i'm able to do this for 25 years because i can play a double stroke row or a triple stroke or a single stroke at a high rate of speed i'm not here to, to flex like that on the people i'm here to help people uh, that's in the drum community because uh people ask me all the time how do you how do you play faster and i tell people over and over over and over and over that is is through the techniques you're using and then it's through uh the strength of your forearms all right a lot of the techniques are going to be through the strength the muscle strength of your forearms i am doing a webinar talking about this very topic the link will be in the description but if you're too lazy it'll also be in the comment section so make sure you watch out for that uh it'll take you to my website and all you got to do is sign up put your credentials in and you're good to go but i only want serious people signing up for it if you're not serious about building your chops up if you're skeptical or whatever the case is then uh i, I you know don't don't sign up but it is free to sign up and it really depends on when you're watching this video uh for when the webinar is being hosted just make sure you go and follow the link and sign up all right that's all i got for this video have a nice day